Crab Week continues, and we are going to play Monk today. So this is a Monk version of the Crab Scription or the Robo Crab deck again. Very similar neutral package. But the reason that you go with Monk is because Cliff Racer is still amazing, but also I really wanted to play around with Shadow Green Elder. It's a 7 cost 5-5, five, five, but because it gives the friendly Spriggans and animals plus 2 plus 2, this is a great way to buff up all your crabs. And then Cliff Racer also counts as an animal, so uh, that helps. Reflective Automaton, also an animal because it's a crab, so that helps. So uh, I, think I, I think that it's just a, a fun card to include. As always, that code will be in the video description. Uh, I was trying to do like Crab Seder and like all these funny names and then when I got to Monk I was like well it's really hard to do that so it's just Kronk. So if somebody wants to pull the lever that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna take Monk for a spin. Now I'm not running Swift Strike as we saw earlier this week. Swift Strike is very very powerful in this list. Might be a bit of an oversight on my part. Um, if I was going to Pick a card that I would consider replacing. I think that Swift Strike is at most a one or a two of, and I would strongly consider replacing like Haskell. Just for an example, if you do want to include it. You could also go with less of the robot package, but I just really like the robots. The Mage's Guild gave this one a home. All right. This so this is going to be like a more traditional spell sword token. So we're going to go over here so we can at least contest this. And see what they follow it up Did with before we decide what we're following it up with. Upon. I find this to be such an interesting one drop because on the one hand, like, it's the kind of one drop that certainly can snowball. On the other hand, like I, I sometimes wonder if you wouldn't just be better off legitimately running the just 2-2 two, two for 1, which did used to see play in Crusader a long time ago. Training is over. Right. It's time to act. So they're going to take control of the field lane. The Profiteer is a bit of an issue, but we don't have a good way to deal Soldiers, with it. Report. Um, probably until How can I Cliff Racer, realistically. So we are going to be on defense, it would seem. I'll profit from your death. Talking mud crab merchant. Read my lips. Oh, how interesting. Uh, mouth paws. I think we take the elite just because we don't want them to have it. Like illusory defenses here is super annoying for us, but. I don't think we want to give them a 3 cost 5 3 that will help them self break runes and give the them more cards. So. And I have uh, uh, every reason to expect that we're going to run into this this turn. Just to prevent me from trading into their stuff. But again, there wasn't much we could really do to avoid that, in my opinion. Siege Catapult. They might save it just to try to activate that. Next turn is backup. The they played everything and then they break the runes. Huh? I hear and obey. You fight like a child. All right. Well, I think. What we are looking to do is probably something like this. 
much as I don't want to take the one damage to do this, we really want this trade to go our way. But Divine Fervor here is uh, painful, to say the least. Nothing like a good battle. Or even more painful in this scenario is Captain because it activates Siege Catapult. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this one can an be ouch of a turn. Acknowledge. Now, thankfully, the only thing we have working in our favor is that they're kind of like running themselves out of cards. So we're not necessarily out of this quite yet. And this is gonna trade here. It's just now trying to figure out, I think, where I want this Cliff Racer to go. I think Cliff Racer is the play because we want another trade. Just feel like value trading to make sure that I get rid of this and this makes the most sense. I just hate leaving this up over here unanswered because this is likely a creature and then when they top deck another one, that activates, but I have also don't have a good way around that. This Cliff Racer does not, like I could double trade into that, but then I'm still taking a ton of damage in that regard as well. So I think, just gotta do what we gotta do. And uh, we're gonna we're just gonna take the loss. I don't really see any other way around it. It's gonna be two creatures going shadow, I suspect, and then it'll be Captain Training is over. It's and time Catapult. To act. Nothing. The Mage's Guild gave this one yeah. home. This one will never forget that. Took them a while to figure it out, but spirit. they got there. We knew exactly what was happening. Uh They went wide and we just could not recover. So we will try it again. It's possible that we could have just fought harder for field lane. I don't know. They had they had multiple fifth legions, and they had multiple like token producers. I think that they just get underneath this deck every time, if they have a hand like that anyway. Yeah, we'll try it. All right, well, we're gonna live the mud crab dream and just open up with uh, two mud crabs and assert dominance. I'm just gonna say hello. Huh. We're only gonna play the one. You play the one because when it dies, then you get your value. But that's kind of funny. Last game, we really didn't find one drops. This time, all the one drops. It's not enough to watch your back these days. Oh, all right. So it's Dragon Guild Sworn, huh? I think we just push the damage. Training is develop over. here. It's time to act. We get punished pretty hard by something like uh, Tiny Dragon, but we were gonna be punished pretty hard by Tiny Dragon either way, so. In this instance, I think we just kind of let them trade into that, bring it back a little bit stronger. They won't get the trap on me. At this point, I don't think we really care about them drawing cards, if I'm being honest. You can't defeat me!
We're gonna do it like this. We don't really care about them drawing cards because we plan on giving them a billion cards anyway. This might be the first time all week that we're gonna have like a decent on curve hauls. I say out loud as this is like, they're just gonna wipe like half my creatures off, but you know, for playing, you know, robo crabs, the robo side of things has just not really went off in an appreciable this is going to be messy. manner for us thus far, so hopefully Careful, this will. Friend. Yeah. Hopefully this will result in us attacking. Oh, and this will be nice post. Uh... You can't defeat me. Post crabbery. But we're gonna try to push as much as we can here. And this goes over here. Um, again, like one Skaven, one Cradle Crush, whatever, like wipes this side. So if we threw this over here, they could still wipe that and have that trade. They only have two resources here, so we're just trying to have like any one thing survive at the moment. Trying to put them in the least favorable position. Yeah, there's the tiny dragon. So now we're just trying to find a uh, old salty's assault so we can finally make our elder worth our while. Oh, and they have the execute. Full clear us. Bravo. This is a tough call because, like, if I play this, then we force them to have removal. But if I don't play it, no, I think we don't play it. If I don't play it, then uh, they actually could try to set up a two-turn lethal here. Like, they could swing, play a bunch of dragons. Yeah, or, or do something like this, right? So, like, there was an argument to be made about... And then we don't draw an activator. Ugh! It hurts me so much inside. Right, well, we have to do it now. We have to do it now. I have a suspicion that they still die anyway. It's not looking good, gang. All right, Anasi helps. That is three colored cards in a row in a deck that runs less than 10. Where is my old we Salty's Assault? Wow, and they have the Devour. All right, let's see what this gets us. And we have to play a Nasi this time. There's just no question about that, so just a question of uh, where do we want it and I think we want it over here more than over here Anasi finds it useful to use her enemy strength against them I mean that's a pretty good Anasi for us Yagram could get back this or this both of those are entirely fine. Drew the shadow green and we just haven't had crabs. Like mean, we started with the two, but nothing. I wanna do cool spriggan things. I wanna spriggan Z win. I mean something's gotta be happening over there, right? They have to have removal. It's gotta be a javelin. Sure, this also works. They won't get out of me. They get the value trade here. Oblivion awaits you. This would be a really good time for me to have had a dynamo. But we do not have a dynamo. We don't even have one of the uh, spider workers. Like, I want this dead. I actually want to bring that back with the Agram.
Because digging deeper in our deck ends up being the best play here. But I think it's going to be... Yagerman to the sphere. Greetings from the last living dwarf. do it like this. We want guards in both lanes. The reason this one over here is because uh, this is a deck that probably runs Unstoppable Rage and we're just trying to not have all of our like best stuff in a single lane. Like Rage over here doesn't... I mean we don't dodge it but right like it doesn't allow this to live. Well I guess theoretically it does because this would be shackled right so like this would deal the damage here. And then this would be shackled, so you don't have to trade there. But essentially, this also hides here though, so like if you rage here, you still have to have an answer for this. Like we're just trying to do our best to like be as threatening as possible. Also, still still no uh Shadow Green value. No old salty. Solomon God awaits you! Surely! They're in my Alright, so they're gonna make a bunch of trades. And then what? Play a guard to block this? So if we top deck a mud crab, ankle snapper. Basically, mud crab ankle snapper. Old Salties finally gets in there. And we'll take the uh, red year for giggles. Pinchy, pinchy! Alright. We got the victory. Okay. Whew. Didn't get to do the cool Spriggan thing post Old Salty, but we didn't go 0-2. We didn't go 0-2 uh, with any of our crab ducks. Just a, a quality 1-1, one one, which... You know, I think is good enough for crab robo memes, robo crab memes. But anyway, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, may you walk on warm sands.